Hey guys, so different setup today. Today I'm going to be dyeing a wig, which I'm super excited to do. You guys know I've been into wigs a little bit more lately because there are times when I want certain colors of hair that I don't want to dye my hair because blues and greens and that kind of stuff are so hard to get out that I don't want to dye my hair those colors. But if I could dye a wig those colors, that would make me super happy. So I got this human hair wig from uni wigs this is like the 613 24 inch human hair wig and i've never really played with a human hair wig before but this feels exactly like most of my extensions do so i can just tell it's like you know good human hair right off the bat so i am going to try this on and see sort of where i want it on my head before we dye it but then we're gonna dye it and it's gonna look good I'm gonna probably start wearing wigs a lot more because ever since I went and got my hair done at like a salon, my hair has been deader than I've ever seen it before. Like I've never seen it this damaged before, but even last year when I did my roots that were like this long, now I don't know, whatever happened to my hair when someone else touched it, it's just dead. And I'm having a little bit of a harder time than normal getting it back to like a good, state of health so I want to try to do as little to it as possible aside from just like dyeing it a color that I'll probably do soon but I figured it'd be fun to do this wig a lot funner than I normally would do my hair and since it is so long I can do some really cool colors and a really pretty ombre let's just try this wig on I'm trying to use my monitor as a mirror and that's where my problem is coming in so Okay, so here it is for the most part. Obviously, I'll put it on much better when I'm like actually wearing it. And I do like this part right here. It looks really natural. And I do like when I do like a middle part to do it just like barely off center. So I think this will work. This is so much nicer than dealing with like a synthetic wig. Because I feel like I tangle synthetic wigs in like two seconds. But these ones are just like... I will leave the link. And they did give me a like code but it's not an affiliate code it's just like a code to save money below so i have my head here i'm gonna put this on and then i do have some pins i'm just going to stick in so it stays on the head okay so before we actually dye her i'm going to show you guys what we're going to be using so for the roots we're going to be using arctic fox periwinkle this is sort of like a mix between like a baby blue and like a baby purple really like this one and then we're going to be doing aquamarine but i'm gonna lighten this a little bit i don't want it like this bright since this one is a slightly more pastel i want this one to be a little bit lighter as well and then we're gonna go into what is this? green iris and i'm going to lighten this one as well though because i don't want again like super dark or super neon so we're gonna go with a sort of a pastel ombre between these three for Arctic Fox, I do have an affiliate code and it's just Emily Susanna. Okay, so how I think we're gonna do this is just go from roots and then do each color individually. So I kind of think I'm gonna have to stand for like the bottom parts. I don't wanna do, you get it. So I'm gonna just start out with Periwinkle. We're just gonna put a bunch of that in here. And here is that color. I'm not going to dilute this one just because it's sort of a sort of like muted color in itself. It's not neon, so I don't feel like I need to. Okay, then I have my hair here. Hope this is okay for like the angle. There's not really much I could do with this, so oh, I feel like I'm gonna have to stand up anyway. Okay, right, so I'm just gonna kind of start on the part right here. And I think I'm gonna take this color down to about here ish that way it's almost equal for parts of color hiding in the bungalow she felt so young the night she was much younger than the other feeling like a prisoner there in the light she stood she knew they could have missed her and then they right now i'm just combing through that little bit that way i can make sure i see because I'm not taking it down to like the very, very root at the very, very bottom, barely. Because I don't want it to look like green, but then if it went back, you'd see the blue again. I want it to just be like the solid, you know, color, color, color. Not like color from root, if that makes sense. You know, it's layer. Anyway, you get what I mean. And also doing this will help it start to fade into the 
will soon be purple. And then that way I can see if there's any little spots I missed or that need some extra. Okay, now start on this side that has a lot more hair. Probably easily gonna use like this entire bottle on this wig. You guys know that now I have Halloween merch out, link in description. Here are the styles, only available for about a month. Unless this video is coming out before this other one that I'm thinking of, in which case, news. It's like a purpley blue, and then I'm gonna have it go into this color. I am going to dilute this one, because this is a very, very bright, this is a very bright blue. That I do not want that bright. I'm gonna take this cheap conditioner. You see how dark that comes out? When you mix it, you wanna make sure that you mix it really, really, really good. Otherwise, you might end up with some spots. And I think this is a good color. So now I'm going to try to make sure you guys can see. I'm going to get some of that and I'm going to sort of cross it over where I put the periwinkle color a little bit so we can really get a nice ombre. This is the part where it should be a little bit easier. You do have to section a little bit, but you're not pulling from like the root. And I'm going to bring that down, I think to about here. I sort of want to do like green here, but then I might want to put a little bit of pastel yellow at the bottom. Right now, I'm just going to try to focus on this blue. Okay, so my head, my mannequin head, keeps falling over and I knew I should have gotten like a wig stand but instead I decided to be cheap and I didn't and so I bought the head and I bought the pins but I didn't buy the stand and so now I keep having to like super glue it on this thing, or hot glue I mean. Maybe you guys can see better now though. So here's how it is so far and it's only focusing on my face. And I think it's coming out really good. I kind of pulled the blue up a little bit more just because this was pretty set. And I want it to be a really smooth gradient. It's like I know sometimes I have spots when I do my own hair. But like that's not going to happen with like this wig. I want to dye this once. And I've officially made a mess. Okay, I think the blue. I'm just going to use the same bowl because again, mushing all the colors together. And I'm going to make this green now and this one. Kind of doing the same way that we did the blue, the lot of conditioner. You could, I know that like Arctic Fox and like most brands sell like a diluter. Personally, I like to use conditioner just because I went through one and a half bottles on this part alone. I imagine I'd go through like so many bottles of diluter. Like if you are not using that much of it, then by all means, because it'll probably be more even for sure. Getting like, eight bottles of diluter to do this would be like a lot. So that's what I'm doing right now. It's a really pretty color. But I'm gonna make it a little bit darker. This green isn't quite as dark as that blue was. The more you go down, the less hair there's gonna be. So you won't have to make like quite as big of batches. Okay, here's the color I'm ending up with. I put in quite a bit more of the actual dye that way we can actually get like a solid color uh, trying to be able to show you guys i don't know how to show you this i feel like it didn't seem like this was as long as it was until i'm dyeing it now it seems like it's like a never ending so it's like oh yeah three colors will be like more than enough and now it's like well maybe four i could probably fit five if i really wanted to but i don't know what i'd go to after yellow i gotta do orange but I don't think it would go. Listen, I would tilt my camera, all right? However, I would have to do a whole bunch of things to be able to touch my camera, and that just, hey babe. Hey babe, I wanna check on you, see how you're doing. I'm doing all right. 
Yeah, how's the week coming out? Ooh, I like it. Thank you. You gotta be careful and like make sure you're really going through. Cause since I'm like on this side of the hair, I keep almost missing all of this right here. That would not be pretty. Especially like when you're doing like extensions or like wigs, all the hair just like bunches up super easily. Okay, so I have pretty much all the green in. Now I'm going to actually use a little bit of the Cosmic Sunshine. And I am diluting that a tiny bit with um, conditioner because it is really, really yellow and I don't think that yellow will like fit in with all this. So I still want it to be like bright, but I already know it's gonna get washed out a little bit when all the everything else runs through. So. Okay, and it is done. It's like a perfect gradient. I put the yellow at the bottom. I'm gonna let this sit for an hour or two just so it can like really soak up in there and then I'm gonna wash it out. I will try to give you guys another look really quick just so you can really see like up to down how it looks. So now that I've glued this head here, it's just, it's not coming out until I have to like rip it off and I don't want it to lean on anything until I wash it. So. She could cry, they could be nerd if it's sad for her, but an order is an order. She was a prisoner there in the light. She stood, but she knew they couldn't break her. Okay, so I washed out the wig and I have it here. It is all dry and everything. I love how this turned out. So here's the top color and then it goes into that like, I don't know, like blue color, the green and then the yellow. It came out so vibrant. I want you guys to be able to see the entire thing. I am so happy with how it turned out. I really love this bottom part. I've never thought about putting this in my hair. So I'm super excited. It's all dry. It's been like a couple days because I wanted this to air dry because I do not like using heat on this sort of stuff. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put it on, cut the lace, and then I want to curl it. God damn it, I did it the wrong way. I keep getting this caught in my nails. Note to self, rinse nails and wig caps are not, uh, do not go together. And then this does of course come with like these clips which I'm going to have my boyfriend so on whenever he has time so i'm not gonna have them on today but just know i will put them on what a look i like how it already has these like sort of little baby hairs there it's gonna be like minimal messing with for me i feel like this is a lot of hair way more hair than i feel like it felt like in the beginning let's cut the lace Sorry, that is way too bright. My bad. There, hopefully that's better. My bad. So just to be honest guys, I didn't think that I'd ever actually like a wig on myself this much. You guys know how much of a struggle I've had with wigs and this one looks so good. I mean, it's a little, it's a little puffy right now because we'll, We'll fix that in a second, but oh my gosh. Okay, so now I think that it's time we style it. I am going to be using my just my straightener. I got this straightener recently just from Amazon and I wanted a new one because if you watched my older videos, I had one that like vibrated and that one is weird and it was okay, but then I also had a chi, but I didn't like that one as much because it didn't show the temperature and it also didn't let you change the temperature. But this one, you can go from like 170 all the way to like, I don't know, something ridiculous, like something you don't want to put on your hair. And it, there's like different settings like damaged hair, healthy hair, fragile hair, which I really like. And I really wanted this because I wanted something with like a low enough heat that I can use on my synthetic wigs and so I can like style those as well. And like on this type of stuff, I do not want to be putting a lot of heat on it. So I'm going to start off by just putting a little bit of a heat protectant on. I also did put quite a few like products in this wig after I washed it. I did not wash it with any shampoo because it did not need it. I just washed out the conditioner and I put some like, not styling products, but like stuff to just help keep it healthy. I have a whole 
video on like how I keep extensions like you know like real human hair that doesn't grow out of my head healthy which if I remember if not remind me and I will link it below I'm putting this on 270 because I don't think you need like that much more and I'm going to curl this but not starting like up here I'm gonna start more like down here back in the day when I would like just wear extensions like all day every day which this is making me want to like just do my hair like and make it like really pop in like all the time I forgot how much I love having like a lot of hair and then I'm gonna curl away from my face And I usually just twirl it and you got yourself a loose curl. I don't really like super tight curls so I usually try to avoid doing like ringlets but this one will break up into some like nice like beachy-ish wave. I feel like I'm being annoying with saying how much I love this but I feel like this is like you know like the dream hair I can't have like all one length four different colors, super thick, not damaged, the dream. I hope you guys like this video because I want to do a lot more of these and now I want like a million different wigs to dye like all different colors. I know a lot of people have been asking me when I'm gonna dye my actual hair and I want to, or I wanted to have already, I was going to work with a brand but then that ended up not happening so I had waited like weeks with just like blonde when I wanted to dye it because like you know if like I'm gonna work with someone to do it with like I can't be dyeing my hair all different colors like before because it's gonna take forever to get out when the time comes then I ended up waiting and then now it's like Halloween season which if you haven't seen my Instagram I'm doing all different types of looks it's super fun having a lot of fun there but now what I'm actually going to be for like actual Halloween Halloween or like Kind of when I go out and I hang out with my friends, we're gonna do a bunch of Halloween festivities. I'm going, I need to be blonde for my actual costume. So now I'm in a place where it's like, I really wanna do something fun with my hair, but I need to be blonde. So maybe I'll just make it like my life's goal to have 50 wigs that are all different colors. I feel like it'd be fun. Anyway, I'm just gonna like time lapse the rest of this so I can sit here and listen to a podcast. And I'm sure you guys are done with me blabbering on and on and on anyway. Okay, so here it is. See, this is how I like it to look, like kind of bunched together, but I like this like big swoop right here. I'm so happy with how it turned out and like the ombre is so much more even than I would have expected because I'm the one dying it. You guys will have to let me know if you guys like this video. I really hope you did because I really want to get some more and do more of these because I feel very accomplished. And I feel like we should just forget what my actual hair looks like at this point because I don't think I can top this. That is all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a like if you did like it that way I know. And I will hopefully see you next time. Bye!